What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Go to Fighting Secrets Warrior Wednesday, where we discuss relevant topics that will aid you in becoming a better warrior, person, individual, and leader. Today's topic of philosophical conversation is going to be a warrior is never afraid to walk the path alone. What does this mean? Let's start with what this doesn't mean. Doesn't mean that we're Rambo going out there, taking on thousands of Viet Cong by ourselves. All right. Forget about that. It doesn't really exist. Everybody fights better in a team. Everybody operates better in a team. In fact, tactically, it's generally necessary like 90 something percent of the time. Probably closer to almost 99% of the time. Warriors never fight alone. Even if you're like a spy behind enemy lines operating on your own, like non-official cover type of thing, you still report back, right? You still send messages back and you've got a team behind you to receive those messages to get you things or equipment or funds if you need them. Nobody fights alone. However, it is imperative that you are not afraid to do so, right? This is incredibly evident when we read the last paragraph of the Ranger Creed. And this is, this is highly relevant for our topic of conversation. I'm going to read to you the last paragraph of the Ranger's Creed. Readily will I display the intestinal fortitude required to fight on to the Ranger objective and complete the mission, though I be the lone survivor. I always have thought that this is a very applicable statement for all areas of our life. Let's start with the tactical aspect of this, then we'll touch on what it means in general, in daily life to accomplish our personal goals and missions. And then we'll go back to more of an example tactically. You get sent out there with a team, but something happens to that team. You can't be afraid to fight on by yourself. It's optimal? No, absolutely not. Is it possible? Yes. And as long as there's a possibility of victory, you have to keep operating. That's just how a warrior plays it. And that's just, that's courage. Will you be scared? Yeah. Are the consequences dire? Yeah. Are you a warrior? Yeah. All right. So pick up your nutsack and let's go. That's just what it means. All right. <clears throat> So what is an example for our personal goals, right? For our personal self-betterment. This is something that's happened to me, and it's probably happened to more than just me. In fact, it's a common theme amongst great men. And that's not a self-aggrandizing statement. <laughs> but this is a very common example that we can go by, right? And we'll take a lot from this. So let's just say, for example, that you're, you're in a place where you want to better yourself. Maybe you want a better educa education so that you can make more money, right? Maybe you also want to get into some serious fighting shape. Get ripped, get jacked, whatever it is, right? Make money. Bang bitches, that type of thing, right? Just generally become the man. But your friends all work blue-collar jobs. They fuck off every weekend, they go to the bar, they do coke, they get drunk, they eat shitty food, whatever, right? They have no aspirations of bettering themselves in life. You got to move on and you got to know that you have set 
these goals for yourself. You want to be better. You want to be better for yourself. And that's all that really matters. But you also maybe want to be better for your family, your future family, even whatever. So you can't be afraid to go forward and accomplish that mission. Now, you realize that while you do go forward and accomplish this mission, will more than likely mean that you don't see your friends much, right? Because if you're going and pursuing an education so that you can make more money, you're pursuing a better career, you're pursuing the type of physique that you want. Maybe you have aspirations to become better in martial arts, better in fitness. But you're not going to be able to go to the bars every weekend and just get wasted and do coke and eat fucking chicken wings and shit and expect that like you're going to get in that serious of shape. You're going to have to be more disciplined than that. You can't go out during the week if you're getting up and going to class or whatever it is, right? You're going to have to spend your free time studying, going to the gym, going on a run, going to class, whatever it is. And if you're not doing the same thing that your friends are doing, they have no aspirations of going up in life, but you do. As you go up, as you show up to the bar less and hang with them, as you show up and hang with them less and are not smoking blunts with them, you're not railing lines with them, you're not partying with them, you're not whatever, whatever they're doing. You're doing that a lot less, you're going to see them a lot less. You're working on yourself. You're looking better. You're feeling better. Everybody sees it. Well, you know what? Guess what? Your friends, they might they might genuinely want the best for you, but subconsciously, they're not going to be happy about it because this reminds them that they're going nowhere. There's an old boy song about this. Going nowhere, nowhere. Stars and Stripes. That's who it was. Love those guys. But uh, <clears throat> like I said, it's a very common, very common story. You have to be prepared that you're going to have to leave these, these guys behind. And you can't be afraid to walk that path alone. And you're going to have to. You're going to have to be prepared that, look, I'm hitting the gym alone. I'm hitting the books alone, right? I'm eating chicken and freaking broccoli alone, right? I'm sitting here studying at home alone while my boys go out and they party. And maybe I hear stories like, oh, man, well, you should have been there the other night, bro. We got into this fight, da 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 you know, Murphy bang this chick, da 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 da. I couldn't believe it. Oh man, that's cool. But like, I wish I could have been there. But man, I was studying. Wow, oh, you were studying for what? Like this and that, right? <clears throat> You're going to have to be prepared to walk this path alone. That doesn't mean that you tell your buddies to go fuck off. They're still going to be your friends. But subconsciously, they're going to push you away. They're also probably going to be talking some smack about you behind your back, right? And you got to be prepared for this. You can't take it personally. You got to realize, look, I'm out here. <clears throat> I'm making money. I'm doing me. I'm bettering myself for my future. And these guys, they're going nowhere, nowhere, right? So that's just the way it is. A warrior has to be prepared to continue along the path, continue along that mission and accomplish that mission at all costs. You know what the funny part about this is in life is once you're willing to or have already left that old life behind, Eventually, you're going to attract new and better friends. You're going to attract new and better people into your life. Better women, better circumstances. But you have to initially set out on that path alone. And it's going to be lonely for a while. You can't be afraid to be lonely. Alone, but not lonely. That's the way that we should look at it, right? Alone, but not lonely. This is what we have to be able to do. We have to be able to say, I'm going to stick to my path no matter what. And eventually I will reap the rewards. It might not be fun for a while, but eventually I will reap the rewards. Let's relate this back to a tactical example. You're operating behind enemy lines with a three or four man team, maybe five men, whatever it is, small number of men, right? Your mission is to gather intelligence on a specific supply route with the additional mission parameters that 
if this specific piece of equipment shows up, destroy it at all costs. It's of the utmost importance. You're undercover, behind enemy lines, operating with a few other individuals. These other, other individuals are hunted down and systematically killed by the enemy. Enemy doesn't know that you exist. They think they've killed your whole entire team. What are you going to do? You can't bug out. Mission still stands. You're still there. In fact, you're the only one still there with a clear line of sight on this specific supply route. With the only, You're the only eyes on the fact that this specific piece of equipment might show up. And if you don't destroy it, the consequences could be dire. What are you going to do? Are you going to be afraid? Yeah, I, I would think so. If you're not, you're an idiot. But you have to stay there and you have to accomplish that mission, even if it means your life. You have to try or die trying. That's what you were there for. That's what you signed up for. You will accomplish that mission or die trying. Let's say, for example, this specific piece of equipment shows up. You're able to destroy it. Boom. You save the day, though you were the lone survivor, and you were extracted. <laughs> Imagine the story that you can tell one day, maybe if you can ever tell it, right? Even if you can't, imagine the feeling inside you, knowing that you literally saved your country, if not the world, right? It's the same thing <clears throat> going at it alone sometimes. You could stay in your same one-horse town, hanging with the same handful or dozen friends, doing the same shit until you all get fucking old. Have heart attacks and die, right? Never having really lived. Or you can say, no, I refuse. I'm going to do whatever it takes to get out of this one horse town. Go and make a name for myself. Accomplish great things. Even if I never become famous or I never become super wealthy, I'm going to be more than I was. And I'm willing to suffer to do it. I'm willing to be afraid to do it. I'm willing to take risks and chances to do it, but I'm going to get the mission done. I'm going to accomplish the mission no matter what it takes. Yeah, I'm willing to be alone for a while in order to accomplish this mission because I know it's worth it. This is what it means to be a warrior. This mindset, this mentality is what separates the wheat from the chaff, the weak from the strong. Strong from the weak, really. This is the tip of the spear mentality that we have to have. This is true inner strength to be able to say, you know what? I don't care. I'm operating alone for now. And I'm going to accomplish the mission. I'll build my own network if I need to. I'll build my own business. I'll build everything that I need for myself from scratch if I need to. And like I said, when we're able to do this, the funny thing is things materialize, things show up, things happen that never would have happened if we weren't willing to walk that path alone initially. So never be afraid, warrior, to walk the path alone for a while. You won't be alone forever. But you have to be willing to accomplish the mission at all costs. Hope this was useful to some of you out there. Hopefully all of you who are still watching enjoyed this. Don't forget to check out GutterFightingSecrets.com. We've got some great hand-to-hand -hand combatives programs on there for you guys, direct downloads. Subscribe, share, like this, comment. It helps us in the algorithm. We're trying to build a 
real community of tip of the spear type warriors out here. Citizen soldiers, citizen warriors, even professional ones as well. We need more. We need more strong men out here. Let's build this community, guys. Until next time, you are your first and last line of defense. And I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, motherfuckers.